brutal wild dog attacks cost Queensland's livestock industry nearly $70 million a year. While the financial cost is well documented, there's no price tag on the emotional damage as farmers watch their stock savaged and left to die. But one wool grower is bringing hope to the sheep industry using donkeys to guard his flock. From Queensland's Southern Downs, Kieran McKechnie reports. On Bruce McLeish's sheep property at Carrara outside Warwick, shearing is in full swing. Like any wool grower, he's at the mercy of volatile international wool prices and the dry weather conditions that plague the Southern Downs. But his number one problem is wild dogs literally savaging his business. I actually had a case here where um, prior to shearing uh, I lost 200 full wool sheep and then in the um, preceding six, eight weeks after I lost another 200 shorn so that year we actually lost 400 sheep. Bruce McLeish says over the past three or four years the wild dog problem in these parts has soared. The density of wild dogs in the in closer in country which I call sort of in the ranges, national parks, forestries, places like that um, the density of the wild dogs has got to the point now where they're getting pushed out and they've got to go further to search for food. And um, obviously in those areas there's been um, not enough done to suppress the numbers and they've just got to a point where it's exploded. And, you know, I've got friends or neighbours in the area here um, that have never had a wild dog in their place and they're just getting losing hundreds of sheep at the moment. One of those neighbours is Jonathan Carsons. They started um, January last year. We bought a mob of lambs and... Um, Within two weeks, they'd, we bought 240 lambs, and in two weeks, they'd taken 40 lambs out of that particular mob. We were lucky we, <coughs> we I had to move them out of the paddock, and two weeks later, we were able to trap that dog. But ever since then, they've been hitting us with a vengeance. In the last 18 months, he's lost about 900 sheep to brutal wild dog attacks. That equates to a loss of more than $70,000. I don't think we can go on doing this for, you know, the losses we're sustaining at the moment. To replace those sheep, $80 plus to get them onto your property and then you've got to wait another 12 months before you get any income from them. You know, why do it? Many of his neighbours have decided there's just no viable answer and have moved out of sheep altogether. But that just makes Jonathan Carson's flock all the more susceptible to attack. The financial and emotional blows every time he comes across mauled sheep in his paddocks is clearly taking its toll. Black dog sort of starts to get at you a little bit and you never know when he's going to bite you. It's uh, very confronting when, when anyone goes out and finds uh, where dogs have been in their, either their sheep or their cattle. Uh, uh, it is, it's, it's a huge um, emotional thing. that You've got uh, the worst animal welfare impacts I've ever seen. A wild dog attacks on sheep. It's just they, they rip and tear and then they leave them to die. Brent Finlay is talking from experience. Ag Force's sheep and wool president regularly loses stock on his Warwick property. My uh, area where, where my property is and my uh, near neighbours, I think in the last sort of 18 months we're talking about $150,000 worth of damage. He says last year Ag Force commissioned a study on the economic impact of dog attacks on Queensland's livestock industry. The results were staggering. Wild dogs ripped $67 million out of the industry. Farmers can consistently go out and find uh, up to 10 sheep dead, maybe even more, uh, in a single day. From where dogs or a number of dogs have got into them, and you have, that's happening every day. Wild dog is still one of the only animals with sharks and a few others that actually does not kill their prey before they feed on it. So they are a very cruel animal. They will eat a sheep alive. And you know to find that after you've nurtured the sheep right through, well, these are shorn now, but to the point where they're full wool, you've drenched them, you've crutched them, you know, you've fed them through droughts, and then they have them eaten alive, well, then they're still alive when you find them and they've had all their, you know, back end chewed out. It's pretty, pretty sad. At wit's end, Bruce McLeish started looking around for solutions. And I heard of a story in near Toowoomba where a lady had a, a donkey just as a pet running with her free-range chooks and um, she went out in the morning and there was a fox that had been um, stomped to death in her free -range, with her free-range chooks and I thought, that's, in, that's strange, I've never heard of anything like that. And I got on the internet and um, actually over in Canada they use guard donkeys a lot for, um, for fat lambs and cattle to stop coyotes and wolves. Graziers have long trialled unusual guard animals to protect their flocks. 
from Marema dogs to alpacas. So Bruce McLeish thought he'd give donkeys a go, and he says the results have been extraordinary. The donkeys will actually live with the sheep, they'll feed with them and camp with them, and when a dog turns up they will actually go out of the mob of sheep and they will chase them, they will try and stomp them and bite them. Um, when they get a smell of a dog, a, a donkey is a very alert animal, very inquisitive, and when they get a whiff or, uh, you know, of the dog coming, they will actually start um, doing the old ear and um, we'll be at night here on a still night and you'll actually hear the donkeys out there you know, calling and but it, their aggressiveness is is that they're very fast at stomping and they'll try and bite and they will just chase and chase. With dog numbers exploding in this region, graziers like Bruce McLeish swear by donkeys over other forms of guard animals such as alpacas because donkeys are more successful in fending off dogs that hunt in packs. He's already seen a dramatic drop in the number of his sheep killed. A donkey won't eradicate a wild dog but um, it might save if a dog does come in we might only lose one out of that paddock instead of 10 or 12 in one hit. Donkeys are not the only answer to a problem that's plaguing farmers to the point of desperation and depression but they are proving to be an effective weapon in the war against wild dogs.